Hello, I'm Sarah Webb and welcome to FTV, a look at the week's video news from the Forest of Dean. More than 250 people packed into Forest of Dean Crematorium Chapel to pay their last respects to Sarah fundraiser Peter Wishusen, who died last week following a short illness. Mourners lined the driveway at Utree Break Cemetery as Peter's coffin arrived on one of the rescue charity's lifeboats. Three rescue boats and three Land Rovers that were brought through Peter's fundraising efforts completed the funeral procession. Draped in a navy blue cloth bearing the Sara insignia, the casket was carried into the chapel by crew members. Peter, who was described as a larger-than-life character, was an unrivalled fundraiser for Sara. At his insistence, all donations at the funeral were made towards a new building project at their Beachley base. Mystery surrounds the Swan Inn in Briarley after the landlords left without warning. The disappearance of Russell Peel and his partner Terry follows a series of run-ins with villagers who claim they ruined the pub which was once the centre of village life. FTV spoke to former pub regular Jimmy Jewell about the pub's demise. A lot of us think that there's a possibility this Russell may have been put in to close the pub down. And over a course of time fell out virtually with uh, 50, 60, 70 percent of the um, uh, locals, um, several of whom he um, told he didn't want them in the pub, barred several. He, it just went downhill sort of gradually at first and then faster and faster because as he upset um, more and more people, obviously every one person he upset finished up with half a dozen not coming. I mean the pub was doing virtually no trade at all at the end, I don't think. Berry Hill Recording Studio celebrated its 10-year anniversary this week. Over the years, stars such as Shaken Stevens and Status Quo have flocked to the studio to work with songwriter and producer John David. FTV spoke to John about his highlights of the last 10 years and caught a glimpse of one of his prodigies, Debbie Ann Clark, at work in the studio. My main living is still um, songwriting. That's what I mainly do um, and produce a few of them here um, mostly Shaking Stevens um, some others but mostly him uh, but mostly for my writing uh, and that's mainly being with Shaking Stevens, Quo, Cliff Richard mostly middle of the road and country tinged acts um, but also we have some uh, local talents and fantastic local talent including the lady I'm working with today uh, Debbie Clark who is a uh, star pupil at the Royal Academy in London and uh, she's always a pleasure to work with because she's just top-notch you know classic singer um, and uh, lots of local bands choirs brass bands <laughs> we, we have it all in the uh, post-production work we do as well all kinds of stuff and, uh, like I say, we've been here 10 years and it doesn't seem to, doesn't seem to be getting tired of it, so we would carry on for the next 10 years. Cinderford boxer Chris Higgs started his professional career with a battling win this week. Cheered on by an army of around 120 Forest supporters at the Swindon Oasis Leisure Centre, the 21-year-old beat the hugely experienced Daniel Thorpe, despite needing four stitches to a nasty cut above his eye. Higgs coach... Andy O'Kane did a great job to stop the bleeding and the former White Cross pupil went on to win the fight on points by 59 to 55. That's all from FTV this week. For more on these stories and the rest of the week's news, including a schoolboy who is nearly throttled by a skipping rope, the latest on the Cinderford booze ban and a free glass of organic wine or beer at the Bailey Inn for every reader, don't forget to pick up a copy of this week's paper. You can also keep up to date with breaking news by visiting thisisgloucestershire.co.uk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.